Okay, so now I've got my NX11 out, um, I'm thinking we maybe want to do something a little bit more creative. Still with Ellie in her school uniform, but maybe thinking about some different backgrounds rather than just shooting in my back garden. Yeah, of course. Now, if we were, maybe you should look around when you walk into school and see if there are any fields or parks on the way, and we could use somewhere that's got long grass or flowers and try and make something look a bit prettier okay. than just doing the standard quick shot, because obviously we'd have to have more time now to think about this. It's not the sort of thing you can do on the way to school in a rush sure. when you're in a stress, you know. So we want to do something where we've got a bit more time to think about it the backgrounds and how pretty it can be and you know this meadow is absolutely gorgeous we could use all these lovely flowers here okay well oh. this would work really well should we give this a go then yeah great right well now we've got ellie in her more in her summer uniform which is going to be a little bit more relaxed shooting in fields like this and in a formal uniform yeah. and if you don't have two uniforms like this then you could use sports clothes or you know something to do with school but in a bit more relaxed way Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, Ellie, is we're going to come and stand in these flowers here. Okay, now what we don't want to do is walk through the flowers and squash them, so we'll come round the back of them. So you just go through this little gap here, that's it, and come and stand in that little hole, that's it, lovely. You stay there, and that gives us basically an area of flowers around the front, which will look really pretty in the picture, and all the flowers around the back as well. Okay. Great. Right. Okay, Ellie, so what we'll do now, we'll try and take some shots of her that way on and that way on with the flowers in the background. But really, she needs something to do, otherwise she's just standing there. So, Ellie, can you pick a flower for me? That's it, pick one, that's lovely. Pick a flower, that's, that's nice, and hold the little flower and just, just take picking the petals off it. That's it. Hello, Ellie. Boo. Ellie, look at me. That's lovely. Now she's squinting a little bit in the sun because it's very bright and that's mm. very hard for a young child not to squint in the sun. So one of the tricks I've tried to use to, to, to stop that happening is, Ellie, can you just close your eyes a minute? That's it. Close your eyes and keep them like that. Then when I say, I want you to open your eyes and shout boo at me. Okay. Are you ready? Right. Don't squint with your eyes. Keep your eyes closed and that's it like that. Ready. Now. Boo. But that's it. Lovely. And she smiles because she's, she's jumping out and saying boo at us. So, and if you notice, she doesn't think about squinting her eyes because her eyes just open. Oh. Just a little tip. Great. Tip. Okay. Turn it the other way up as well. So. And then ready, do your boo. Close your eyes. Ready, boo. Boo. That's it. Lovely.